morning so for our video for today is all about the RFID RC522 uh, RFID module so this module supports uh, 13.56 megahertz RFID cards uh, uh, today there are two kinds of, or two common cards used for RFID access so one is the 13.56 megahertz and the other is the 125 kilohertz uh, RFID cards for our tutorial today, uh, we will be using the 13.56 MHz card uh, for this RFID uh, module. So, if you had a kit from uh, Alexab Electronics, uh, so we have the advanced uh, Arduino kit uh, this RFID module and cards and tags are already included in the kit in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect the RFID module to our UNO board so what we will be needing is the UNO board, the RFID module, some couple of connectors, and then our RFID and tags. So we're going to read the ID of these cards or tags through our serial monitor. So to begin with, we're going to connect this module to our Arduino or UNO board so as you see on your screen we have the pin out of the RFID module let's us focus as you can see here we have the labels for the RFID module pins that we will be connecting to our UNO board. So you can see on your screen the connection of this module to our Arduino UNO. So to begin with, let's start with the 3.3 volts we will connecting this to the 3.3 volts of our UNO board so 3.3 volts is here and then for the reset pin we have pin 9 uh, of our UNO board so pin 9 so let us put this down so that you can see the connection more clearly Okay, for the ground pin, we'll connect this to the ground of our UNO board. The IRQ, uh, we will be leaving this blank. And so the next one is the MISO pin.
In this one we'll, we will be connecting this to pin D12 of our UNO board and for our MOSI pin pin 11 for our SCK pin uh, pin 13 And for our SDA pin, pin 10. So now we have now connected our module to our board. So we're going to upload the code to our board that will read our RFID tags and cards. And the it will show on our serial monitor the ID of these tags and cards. So let's move on our Arduino code. If I now see here, I have opened a Arduino sketch for our RFID RC522 module. So, but first, we're going to uh, install the library that our RFID module will, will be needing. So, to download the code, uh, let's click on the sketch, include library, then manage libraries. So, we're going to wait for the window to pop up. So, for our library manager, we're going to search the MFRC522 on this search bar. MFRC522. So, you can search for this uh, M MFRC522 by GitHub community. Since I, I have already installed the library on, on my Arduino IDE, so I'm not going to click this or this is now and clickable so if you have not yet installed the library then please install this library so that we can upload the code into our Arduino Uno so once this is installed uh, let's click on file then examples then search for MFRC522 and then the read NUID uh, sketch. Since the code is op already open on my Arduino IDE, then I'm not going to click this now. So you can see here that this sketch also have the pin connection of of the module to our own board so once you have opened this code check for the board the board must be Arduino Uno and in my case my port is COM8 so we already checked then we can now upload the code to our Uno board so you can use this uh, system for example uh, door access uh, 
uh, for your locker rooms and so much more but for this uh, basic tutorial I'm just going to show you how to connect the RFID module to the UNO board and we were going to read some data or ID from the card and tags that we have we have here now so once the code is uploaded let's open up our serial monitor so you can now see here our serial monitor so once we tap in our uh, tags or card the the module will send the data to our uno board for the tags id or the cards id so let's stop it now so as you can see here we have the the id of our rfid tags and cards so okay so let's scan our rfid card so you can now uh, see the data of the uh, rfid card and from this data you can uh, use this id to set a master card for your projects for example uh, door access and and many more so please tune in for more tutorials about the uh, RFID module uh, so if you want updates so please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates and tutorials so I might be having some tutorials about uh, door access using this RFID module so I hope you learned something from this video and short tutorial so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that's it for now. Bye-bye.